What it is, YouTube? It's your boy BC coming back with another bulls. I have a tutorial here today on the channel. Let's talk about the difference between the auto tunes and also how to get that auto tune set up fast if you still struggling with it. All right. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Check the links to support the channel. Okay. So let's get to it right now. The very first thing I want to talk about is how to set it up in the UAD console. Now, till this day, for me personally, you know, I feel like the UAD, it still has value in specifically the recording, even mostly in the recording. Now, the fact that a lot of the plugins are in the spark and stuff like that, you know, where you don't need the UAD interface anymore. I still feel like the main selling point is the, the low latency recording. Now, of course, you got plugins like Waves Real Tune, Real Time and all that stuff like that. A bunch of other low latency auto tune plugins. But for me, it's still coming down to if you got a good computer or not, because if you got a shitty ass computer, I'm telling you, you know, it's not going to. It's never go, it's never going to be like how you want it to be in your head where you hear it instantly. You feel me type shit. So for people who don't understand like technology and they don't have a great computer and all that shit, I, man, just get you a little Apollo. You know, right now they're on sale and stuff like that. All right. So let me show you the actual setup inside of UAD. So, uh, you know, my auto tune, my mic, my YouTube mic going to be fucked up, but um, I actually have a preset and I want you all to copy it. All right. So, uh, yeah, what, what I do is, first of all, I, you know, you, whatever, you could put your preamp of choice in there, right? You put your compressor of choice or whatever like that. And uh, what you actually do is you got to create an aux, bruh. Well, you don't have to create an aux because it's already there, right? So you pick an aux and you do full volume on the aux. You mute this actual channel and then you put the auto tune on an aux, right? So you, you hear it. You, you're hearing the shit through the aux. This way, you know, sometimes what people will do is they'll have their stuff in like, uh, you know, like UAD. Damn, boy, they didn't really change this shit up. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, you know, UAD record, right? If you were to put the auto tune right here, right, and you have it on UAD record, because let's say you want your spear mic to print and your LA-2A to print, it's also going to print your auto tune too. So in order to get your, you know, all your channel strip and your saturation to print while also hearing the auto tune in the headphones without it printing, this is what you would do. Like I said, okay full blast on the aux you mute this channel you put you put it on one of these it's either you pick the first one or the second one right and then you put it on pre-fader and uh you unmute it and from there you will hear it and you will hear the auto tune right perfectly but then it will print in the doll without the auto tune okay so that's really dope and you know you'd probably just match your settings that you have right here all right so that's how i wanted to show you guys a really dope 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 way to do it you know because like how i said some people they throw the fucking auto tune right here and they got it on uad record they're like oh shit i printed my auto tune bro oh oh my god i pr fuck nicks i printed my auto tune but i just want to i want to hear the auto tune i don't want to print it you feel me type shit like that so there we go okay boom next thing let's go and talk about the different types of auto tunes so I always have this thing for like the past two years where everybody's like, what are the auto-tune settings? What are the auto-tune settings? Like I always tell people at the end of the day, worrying about the auto-tune settings is only something that you got to worry about when it comes to texture. Maybe you want the auto-tune to snap, crackle, and pop like some Rice Krispie tricks and whine and bang a little bit. You, you want the auto-tune to bend a certain way. That's when you would worry about the settings. But for the most part, if you don't understand shit and you don't want to worry about it, I would say auto-tune access is a great simplified plugin for, and it's, it's usually the cheapest one that can help you get your feet wet with auto-tune. Maybe you don't know if you want to use auto-tune long-term in your sound. You feel me? Because that's how some people are. Notice how few Future, when a rapper starts using auto tune, they use it on all their songs. Future, right? No cap, right? Young Thug, all his songs are auto tune. Barring there is a guy like Kanye West, where he, in his career he used a little auto tune here, he used it a little bit there, a dash of salt here, a dash of pepper here. But for the most part, when a nigga uses auto tune, they use it for their whole like all their whole discography. You feel me? Type shit. Like that. It's a standard of music okay so yeah this is the simplest one to use and i like this one because you have look two quick settings you want it to be natural you want to sound like you know like just actually just like just a mild pitch tuning of your notes like utility you feel me so your shit don't sound weird because of course a human being naturally your shit gonna be off key a little bit or do you want it to be screen? Do you want to sound like a fucking 2024 rapper with the fast retune speed and the zero humanize? You feel me? So imagine the retune speed to be a situation where it's like how fast the auto tune is working. For me, I feel like they're still the same thing, right? How fast is the, you know, it's kind of like the attack. Imagine it's a compressor, right? Where the retune speed is the attack. Like how quick is the auto tune grabbing onto the note and 
auto tuning this shit and then the humanize is kind of like the release where it's like it's like um how like i feel like with a faster um humanize with a max humanize it kind of just makes it real smooth imagine like a smooth release you feel me that's kind of how i imagine the auto tune damn near like a compressor i know it sounds crazy but yeah Next thing, okay, auto-tune artist. This is like the next step up. You feel me? You just went from having a tricycle to having a real fucking bicycle, my nigga. Congratulations, all right? Auto-tune artist is really dope because now you have a little bit more features. You feel me? Now now you know how to use a fork and a knife. Now, you, you, now you're not eating Gerber no more. You feel me? Now you're a baby that is moving up. Most important thing about this is now that you get to actually play with the retune speed and the human eyes. Mostly, I put, keep my retune speed on 10 and my human eyes on 10 to start out. And if I know, you know, as I'm rapping and shit like that, if I know, like, yo, this is a song that got to have a lot of auto-tune, I'm making a lot of melodies, I crank up my retune speed, you know? Sometimes, what I used to do back in the days, and I still kind of do it, is I might put my shit on zero retune speed, you feel me? And the auto-tune would be like a fucking school teacher or a, a, a grammar Nazi telling you, hey, you fucked up on that note, you fucked up on that note, and it will work instantly as soon as you fuck up on a note, right? The benefit of working on zero retune speed is that when you hit every note perfectly, the auto tune is not gonna work. Like it's literally just gonna, mm, it's gonna sound literally perfect, like little Dirk and them boys type shit. You feel me? Because they literally hit in every single note right, and that's why you see a lot of rappers punching in and out type shit. All right. So let's look at this song where auto tune wouldn't work on it. Level a little, trouble in the water. Uh, Truth to level on the hill. Yeah, I guess we don't have. I guess we don't have that. Okay, fuck it. Anyways. Auto Tune Pro. What's the what's the benefits of Auto Tune Pro? Okay, the benefits is that you get the graph. So kind of like Melodyne, where you know how like Melodyne lets you actually correct the notes. You know, it's kind of redundant for me because the reason why you use Auto Tune is because you're out of key and you want to put it in key. But let's say your Auto Tune is really fucked up, right? Is your shit is really really fucked up, right? What you will do is, um, you know, you'll go in here to the graph part and you'll start to fuck around with your shit. So if you guys want to see me make a video on how to use that, let me know down below. But most importantly, with this auto tune, you got a couple more features. Of course, Modern Classic was featured on the previous one. Uh, but you also have like some dope presets uh, from like your favorite rappers like Gunner and fucking, uh, yeah, Wanna Flow. Super Slimy, which is Young Thug and shit. So that's the benefits of this plugin. Um, also, uh, the most important thing too is that you have more features. Um, I never play around with this, bro. Like, if the auto tune sounds weird, you just gotta punch back in, bro, and do the correct take. Cause there is no uh, processing or fixing that will, you know, fix a bad performance. Like, you literally hit the wrong note so horribly, fam. Just delete the shit, go back, and do the take the right fucking way, bro. That's the best way to get the perfect auto tune sound. And the last plugin I wanted to show, you know, as I'm showcasing the differences of the auto tune, is this is kind of like when you graduate and you get your master's diploma. <laughs> now I'm fucking around. But no, this is really serious right here, though, because I feel like the Waves tune is literally the best auto tune out of all of them. I feel like it's the most natural one, and also it's the quickest one uh, to start up on. So I go between these scales, which is natural minor, harmonic minor, and maybe major, if that's the key of the beat. But usually you would use a plugin like uh, Auto Key, right? You use Auto Key, you put it on your two track beat and you listen to it and it will tell, you know, what the fuck the key is and then you put the key in. So it starts with getting the correct key. I just wanted to make this super basic for the people who don't under understand how to use Auto Tune because this shit is kind of like confusing. But once you get it, it's kind of like basketball, you know? It's kind of like muscle memory. So much to the point where I heard another engineer complain about this, but nowadays, like, bruh. If I don't have the auto tune, I low key can't even like I can't even record a normal take with the auto tune. Like my shit is like so out of key. Cause it, to, in order to have the auto tune work, you need to be out of key. It's like muscle memory with the basketball. You get to the point so much where you know how to control your voice to hang, hang, singing to where you know how the auto tune works. And that's how you see these rappers go into the studio and get amazing auto tune sounds. Cause it's like playing basketball. They develop a muscle memory with their throat. Cause your throat has muscles in it, and you start to like understand how to bend your voice and shit you know kind of like how i do all these impressions and shit like that my vocal presets i have good muscle memory i can hear somebody's voice and you know do the muscle memory so this is pretty much how, what i wanted to talk about auto tune today explaining all the different types of auto tunes every single good auto tune right and then also went into the uad console today and showed you how to set it up so you can hear the auto tune but not print it okay so this is really dope just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family let me know if this video helped you out appreciate y'all now youtube gang peace